G'day guys and welcome back to episode number 3 of Samoa Journey on Football Manager 2016. It's our birdie. G'day, how you guys going? And today, this is going to be a bit of a longer episode because we are fitting in 3 games in this one. It, the OFC Nations Cup, the first big uh, major competition for me anyway in this series. And um, we'll go to the group, obviously. I showed the group earlier, but uh, it is a tight group. Uh, New Caledonia, Tahiti, and Papua New Guinea. Um, one game's already started, as you can see up the top. Uh, New Caledonia defeated Papua New Guinea. That's the match I feel like I can win. Because the, the goal for this, really, guys, is I want to try and get in the top three. Because the top three in each group go to the final stage of World Cup qualifying. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I want to try and aim for. Obviously, getting in the top two would be massive, but the top three is a must for me because, obviously, the goals for this series. So we're going up against Tahiti in our first match. Our second match, I believe, is against Papua New Guinea, which it is. And then the last match against New Caledonia, who are a very strong Oceania side, I, I, I think, anyway. Um... I'm actually managing them in my personal save, and they got some really quality players that are playing in France, like Georges Gopé Faniche, and um, there's another guy, Wesley Lauto, Latoa. He's a really quality centre back or a, a defensive mid, and Cesar Cesar Ziola playing at Laval. Um, so yeah, they got some quality players. Uh, that is uh, New Caledonia. Um, but that's <clears throat> that's the play. That's the Oceania Cup that we're going to be in. Um, we'll just go over some of the fixtures as well as a squad member. I uh, I'll go over the actually I'll go over the squad now. This is our squad for the OSC Nations Cup. Timmy Kale is in there. Um, you know I, I've kind of been going with some of the core group of players, which are Kale, um, Jeffrey Pupe. I'm, I'm really thinking he's he's a core player of, the, of this team. Um, where is the other guy? Uh, Laurent Hamilton Pammer. He's another one. Um, and also Fatea Hamilton Pammer is another core player of this squad. And of course our goalkeeper Noel, who's uh, <clears throat> who's who's really been pl playing really good football. Um, so yeah, but one addition to, you look at the values and you see another guy, 13.7k worth, plays at Melbourne Victory. I was able to convince an Australian who had Samoan descent to come and play and represent the Samoan national team. So I'm really happy that I was able to bring in Jay Ingham. I actually know him quite a bit, um, you know, just from Central Co or watching from Melbourne Victory. Uh, he, he's, he's a younger player, obviously. You can see he's only 22 years old. Um, he's just trying to get into the first team with them actually in real life. And it's kind of good that he got some seven appearances in this year. Obviously not the greatest ratings. Um, and you look at the stats. You know, he's got really good physical stats for a winger. Um, and the crossing is really good. And the dribbling and free touch could be a bit. But his mental stats is what's really putting him down. So, uh. But as for our squad, he's uh, he's obviously a key player. I mean, you put in the current ability, and there it is, five stars. But for this level, he's he's a really quality player. So we were able to bring him over, which I'm really happy about. But that's our squad. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I actually also brought in another uh, guy, um, Andy Young. Uh, he's uh, He played in one friendly. We'll go over the friendlies in a moment. But he played in one friendly for attack. Look at the, you know, an anchor man, defensive mid. Look at that. 14 tackling. Um, obviously, strengths can be a lot better in the stamina. But I just kind of look at the tackling with these players. And he's 5'9". He's so he is a smaller defensive mid. But his tackling is what's really put eye open for me. And that's, that's really happy. I'm really happy with that player. Because, well... In his last game, he played really well. Um, I'm actually just looking at all the players now. <laughs> Look at all the height. 5'7", five, 5'7". Seven, five, seven. So we got some short players in our squad, but I mean, that's 
whatever. I mean, that's the squad that we, we're going with here. Um, and then we'll just get into the friendlies. Um, the last game we played was against Brunei. It was a one-all game. We played one friendly since. It was at home to Mongolia and a nil-nil draw. Yeah, it was quite lackluster, I have to say. Um, eight shots, none on target, to ten to one. So it was a really lackluster quality game. Um, yeah, it wasn't too. It wasn't good at all. <laughs> Put it that way. Uh, Jay Ingham, that was his first cap, so I was able to cap him there. But yeah, it was a pretty lackluster game. Um, it was actually quick because uh, there was hardly any um, highlights, which, <laughs> how can you blame you, right? So uh, <clears throat> so that was it. So I was, you kind of look at our friendlies. We're unbeaten in the last th four friendlies, but we only got one win. So that's the disappointing part. But the good thing is I'm really kind of making waves now, guys, is in four games, we've only conceded two goals. So... You know, I look at that and say, okay, you know, that's pretty good. Whereas in the last four games, we've scored four. So I feel like our defensive game's a bit getting a bit better. Um, obviously, this isn't the fittest product of how, you know, I want to try and bring the players across with the tactics and everything. Um, but I feel that, you know, we're, we're getting better defensively. So, and that's going to be huge for this competition. We're going to need to be strong on the back especially against Tahiti and New Caledonia, is, uh, you know, behind New Zealand, I would say Tahiti and New Caledonia are 1-2 behind uh, New Zealand and Oceania. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, these were the games that happened yesterday. Uh, New Zealand, Solomon Islands, Fiji, Vanuatu. Fiji's actually another really quality Oceania side. But uh, New Zealand with the big guns like Winston Reid, Ryan Thomas, um, I believe Costas Barbarous is also on this year, plays at Melbourne. Shane Smeltz. So they got their quality players in. Tommy Smith. But yeah, Winston Reed, he's a really quality center back. Plays at West Ham. Just, yeah, really good player. Um, and where's, actually, I want to check something else here, guys, for the award winners. In Oceana, it was actually quite interesting. Uh, I guess you can't uh, look at awards, can you? Yeah. Well, Timmy was on the uh, the short list for the Oceana Player of the Year, but he actually ended up didn't getting it. So uh, yeah. But we're coming into the game against Tahiti. <clears throat> um, big game here. Uh, I'm I'm probably gonna go with this lineup. Well, I am. Uh. Noel and Nett, um, the two Hamilton Pama, are they, who knows if they're siblings or not, but they're playing in, in the center bet, in the, in the center of defense, and, uh, yeah, that's quite the, uh, I, you know, John A. Hull, this guy is actually a really quality, uh, right winger as well, left wing for us, but I want to try and bring him on as a sub, impact sub, um, and he's got the set pieces, I mean, for freeze and corners, it's really good. But uh, yeah, this is the squad that we're going to go in with. Jay Ingham. Obviously, uh, this is out of uh, season for Samoa, so it's uh, it's a uh, you know a lot of the players are uh, quite uh, out of fitness. So yeah, but with Tahiti. Um, I managed these these guys uh, with um, yeah when I was in football manager 2015 in my personal save and I took him to a fourth place in a World Cup. Um, you know, it looks like he's retired now, but it was Marama Vahiroa, if I'm pronouncing that right, or Vahiroa. Um, he was the core player for me. He was fantastic for a Tahitian player. He played in Europe, but thank God he's actually looks like he's retired now. Um, but Nicholas Villar, he's a quality player. Jonathan Teo, all the Teos are actually really good. Lorenzo Teo, Tanui Teo, they're all really quality players. And Vincent Simon's actually really good as well. But this is what we're going into. Let's go out and pull off the offset. The first game of the Nations Cup, Samoa Tahiti. 
be huge if we could get a, a point or even a win from this. Um, one thing I also do apologize, guys, is, uh, is, you know, the quality for, um, you know, the 3D, you know, I, I, you know, I look back at the episodes that I've recorded already, and I have to admit, it's kind of disappointing, you know, when it's lagging in the 3D, so, um, you know, that's, that's how I like to watch Footy Manager in 3D, <laughs> I mean, that's just how I like to do it, and, I'm not sure where you can go to uh, to change it. Where is it? Um, auto hide. Someone probably you guys watching this now is probably saying, "Oh yeah, you got to go up here. You got to go up there to, to do it." But, but I'm just going to keep it in 3D because I prefer it. I don't really like the 2D or anything like that. But yeah, so we're in this game. Samoa Tahiti, kind of playing, and here they come. And this is a good stop early. Final. I believe it's actually the Nations Cup is held in uh, in Papua New Guinea as well. So this is going to be a bit uh, concerning. To say the least, uh, you know, going up against the host nation. But he has a chance and they've put one wide. So already Tahiti's on the front foot here. So we'll just kind of go concentrate. Uh, I actually, I want to. Wait, here we go. 2D. 2D classic. This is not what I like, but 2D. What's the difference between 2D and 2D classic, guys? <laughs> Main stand. I, I'll, I'll okay for the rest of this half. I'll do it this way, just to see if it lags or not, and then I'll do the whole half in the next one. But right now we're I haven't even been given an opportunity to see what's going to be a highlight. So we'll go passing the space sometimes. Go we'll close down more. But 40th minute, we haven't had a shot, and uh, okay, here's a chance. Get it out, got and I'm like, okay, that was a shambles. Hopefully, it's not lagging as much. But here's Leota. Here's Timmy. There's a good run. Poopy was trying to get him behind Tao. And Tao is actually a really good center back, I have to say. Here's Ki Fung Ki, Stevie Chong, play it out. Vincent Simon, Roach. Stevie Chong, oh no, clear it out. And a good stop there by Noel. So, Tahiti, they played better in that one, I'd say. Okay, I'm going to go to 3D, because quite honestly, guys, I just... <laughs> I can't watch when it's like in 2D, you know. You know, I play another game, Eastside Hockey Manager, and, you know, it's a good game, but they need to really, um, they really need to add a 3D aspect to it. But, yeah. So, hmm. So we got a few opportunities, not too much. Jay Ingham, I actually should have used him as a sub. I shouldn't have started him. Because now he's wanting the signal to come off. So we'll put on Richard Tua. To start this second half. But right now, this is what I really want. I'm actually quite happy with this. You know, uh... You know, it's it's nil-nil. Second half, if you get a point against Tahiti, you'd be huge. But they're looking dangerous here. No, here's Tao, and they've scored. So that wasn't good at all. Just getting in behind. And we're down. Because, yes, saying he was offside, he wasn't offside. So, 
Let's go show some passion. We've only had two shots, so this isn't really good at all either. But we definitely need to uh, to be playing better here. It hasn't been great. We've only had three shots. And that's not going to cut it either. <clears throat> Here's Lee Fung Ki. That looked offside too, and he is. Okay, I'm going to twitch this tactic up. <laughs> Go to a bit of our attacking one. Timmy up top. Why don't you use Timmy as a shadow striker this time? Um, we won't do play out of defense. Go higher. Look crosses. That's his spice too. So yeah, we uh, this hasn't been good at all. <laughs> Rapina Ramadi's coming on now for Tahiti. Would be good if we can get some shots on. On net. And so far nothing's really been going, so I'm gonna bring on Mobile. Come on guys, let's get something going here. <clears throat> Go standard. Stick two positions. Nah. Vincent Simon. Because we haven't had a single highlight, which is really disappointing, and they've scored another goal. Romina Lee Fung Kui. And so there's the goal, and that's probably going to do the game. Ah, this is frustrating. <laughs> Coming into this game and we haven't had a shot on net. And you want to keep at them, but Jesus. Here's a chance now. We've finally got a highlight. Will it be good, though? Here's Taylor. Here's Ryan Tua. Andy Young. Hamilton Tama. Taylor. That's a good ball out wide. Here's Tua. Nah, I've wasted <clears throat> and we'll bring on Joan A. Hall for the final sub. Mm, no, we'll just keep it like that. Mm. Here's Timmy, Sally, Taylor, far side. And that's just not good enough, guys. <clears throat> and now they come down. Here's David Chang. Shot was blocked. See, this is the sort of <laughs> players we're having to deal with here, guys. It's it's really quite frustrating, to say the least. Here's a good tackle. And then just gives it away. I mean, it's... You want to try and do better at least, but man, it's just... I want a shot on net. We haven't had a single shot on net. <clears throat> Here's Mobley. Taylor. Here's Hall. That's a good play. This is a good build up. Here's Hall in the middle. There's the cross and there's the goal. Come on. So 2-1. to one, Richard Tua. Our first shot is a goal. With six minutes to go guys. And this... If we could come back with this with a with a you know with a result just maybe we can maybe squeak out a result here. We'll push forward. Here's Fabre. In the middle, good tackle.
Yeah, repeat and remind he's actually a really good player, but there. Oh, and there's another goal for him, Nicholas Villar. And that wasn't good defense there on that pot. Off the set piece. It was actually our own guy that made the first time. And yeah, Villar just came in and took the ball and put it in. So that's frustrating. <laughs> that's really frustrating. And uh yeah, especially since we got a goal. But our attacking game and this has been absolutely shambles. One shot, sure it has been a goal, but we've only had how many highlights? To maybe two or three, two. And yeah, that wasn't a good performance. Especially against Tahiti. I mean I'm gonna say I'm not happy with that performance. I mean it wasn't a good performance. So, uh, so yeah, we're sitting bottom of the group, and we got Papua New Guinea coming up now, um, which that is really frustrating. So, but yeah, guys, I'll just pause it now, and then we'll come back for the next game. Right, oh guys, so we're back. Um, I just kind of skimmed all through it until we we got back here. Um, uh, but yeah, the other group's been decided. New Zealand, Fiji, getting out of the group, six points. Solomon Islands, Vanuatu are done. I'm um, just battling for that final spot. Um, and actually, I believe right now the Copa del Rey, the Copa America, part of me is is no, actually never mind, never mind. I spoke too long. Um, I just saw something changing over at Jamaica and Peru playing. Um, but here we go into our second game against Papua New Guinea. A big, big game here. Um, this is the game I really want to win. Uh, we're going to bring on Richard Tua for Jay Ingham. Um, and John A. Hall. We're going to bring him on. Um, and other than that, Saleh. We'll bring on Fayomo for Saleh. Do a couple of changes. Cal Tua. And yeah, I think that will go into that squad here against Papua New Guinea. Because <clears throat> um, yeah, this is actually a really big game. If we can win this game, I'll be really happy. Because um, it really gives us a good chance of possibly even qualifying, but even staying in that top three, in that, you know, in the three. Um, and quite surprising, we're the favorite. So, uh, it would be catastrophic if we lose two games. So we need to win this game. Uh, Papua New Guinea, of course, lost their opener against the Solomon Islands, which, or part of me against New Caledonia, which, you know, quite expected. Um, but we got to be worried here because Pup, this, like the Nations Cup is played in Papua New Guinea. So this is a host nation. So, um, I'm giving some pressure on these guys. We really need to win this game. So here we go, guys. Our second match against Papua New Guinea. Really need to win this game. I want to see a bit more attacking performance in this one as well. Because the last game, like I said, was an absolute shambles for our, uh, our attacking-wise anyway. You know, sure, we got 100% shoot percentage with the shots on target, but... It was just horrendous. Come on, guys. This isn't a good start either. Player called Spain. There's a cross for him, but he's offside. So already, we look like we're under the foot a bit. So, uh, we're playing a 4 2 2. Uh, we'll go stay on feet. But already we're a bit under fire here. Um, stick to positions. I'm getting a few corners, but come on, guys. 
Papua New Guinea. It was a good read. <clears throat> That's a good read there. Come on, here's Ryan Toe and here's Kyle. We need Timmy, obviously the skipper needs to be showing up in these games. He really should be, obviously, you know, way above quality of all these other players. Here's KL. No, that's not good enough. Shouldn't be taking that shot. <clears throat> I'm debating whether to go on counter or not. Okay, and final. No. Is it? There's a good. Re oh, he almost hit. Was there? Was Ryan Toa? No, oh, plays it. There's a well wide shot. Oh man, that's bad passing. Come on, boys. Just getting a bit frustrated here, and there's a shot and it went wide, so. Eee, oi, oi. Just hasn't been a good game. Again, not having the greatest game. Leonel Taylor wants to come off. I'm going to have a go at him saying this is not good enough. And that actually looks, look at the. No, or, uh. New Guinea stats here. So, you kind of look at it. Obviously, crossing is way OP'd in this game. So, Aaron Spain. Nine crosses. It's their two wingers, really. So, what we'll do here is close them down. We'll print on CM and Teodo. Back on counter. But we really need a better second half. I need I want to score a goal. We need to win this game. I mean it's I guess a draw isn't too much, but we really need to win it. Go much higher. And Aaron Spine just went off. And we're really slow on the closing down as well. We're kind of just letting him play with the ball. <clears throat> Here's Ryan Toa though. He's been actually pretty decent in this. That's not good. <laughs> it's kind of like kick and run sort of thing. Oh man, gets in behind and there's a good stop by Noel. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So now for this tactic. Gonna change it up. Um go retain position though. Go on higher. Put some crosses in. I'm going to put Jay Ingham out there eventually. Because he could be a guy that can really change the game. We're going attacking actually. We need to score. No, it's... Once again, we're not getting good shots off. Oh, come on, guys. There's a good tackle now. Let's go. Here's John A. Hall. No. Give me a highlight. I want a highlight. I mean, John A. Hall's been he's been okay, but he hasn't been the greatest. Jay Ingham will put you up in your natural position. Just not shoot more. In fact, we'll go clear balls to flanks as well. <clears throat> Uh, 
But here's Ingham now. Oh my. And we just give the ball away right away. When it looks like we're going to have a highlight. <laughs> yeah, look, look at this. Come on, guys. Here's Pupe. Kind of slow build up, though, isn't it? <laughs> Here's a good cross in. Puts it in. And there's the goal. Come on. Jay Ingham and Samoa have scored. And we have a 1 0 lead. And that is big. That's a massive goal. And Jay Ingham, who just comes on, that's his first international goal for his country, new country of Samoa. And that's a massive goal. So I'm just going to take off attacking. It's a good tackle. Get it out. And once again, it's on our first. Wow. And there was a great shot from Joe. And they right away, they equalize. Uh, a well out shot from there too. And he's, they've scored. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. So we're going to bring on Desmond Falusho. Playing an advanced forward role. And then we'll put Timmy up. I don't want him holding the ball. Um, Timmy's been... He hasn't really been influential in this as more as that he should be. It's been quite disappointing, to be honest with you, with Timmy. But come on. <clears throat> Once again, only one shot on target. And that's a shot well wide. Here's Hall. There's another cross in. And there! Come on! His second goal! Jay Ingham! And it's 2-1. to one. So Jay Ingham comes off the bench. And he's got two of the goals. That's a good header. That's a good pass as well. So, I'm going to play in our bit of our defensive type play now. Um... Go whip crosses, stay disciplined. Close down sometimes. A bit more narrower. But this is huge. If we can score or win this game. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Striker, yeah, we can put him on. I'm just more worried now that we're going to give a penalty or something, because it's just feels like it's in the. We we'll concentrate, but Jay Ingham's come off the bench. I don't know. It's a good read. Come on, here's fellow for new show. Here's KL. That's another great ball. Here's Jay Ingham. And his shot went wide, but and we got ourselves a corner out of it. Here's John A. Hall with the corner. Oh, he tried looking for Timmy there. I'm actually going structured as well. That's out. But yeah, Timmy's playing seven rating, Jay Ingham. So now we're in injury time. So I'll actually you now um, I'll just go pump ball in the box. Float him. Um no tighter. Go defensive as well. Waste time. This is the big game. If we can hold on here, guys. Oh, no. Oh, man. Nine minutes remain. No. Big stop by Noel. And that was not... That wasn't good enough either. Because, you know, they got a couple of guys there. 
where you know we're trying to play defensive. That's a good play. Kale cleared. Here's fellow Fayusho. Just clear it out. Here's Kale. That's a good ball. Come on, Falusho, you could win it. Taken down the box. There's no call. <laughs> it didn't even look like he got the ball. But I'm quite fine with this, guys. Just keep hoofing it up. Fellow Fanusho, here's Ingham. He's, no, it's a foul. So here we go. The last minute of injury time. John A. Hall. He was trying to look for Timmy there, it looked like. But Just keep dumping it out. You know, I'm really, quite honestly, I'm quite happy with that. And Ingham clears it out. So now we're past the three minutes of extra time. And there it is. Yes, come on. That's the big win that we needed. Because, sure, it might not get us to the next round. You know, we still got another game against New Caledonia. But we want that third place, guys. So that's the big part about it. Um, yeah, Whoa, Jay Ingham comes off the bench. Really impressive performance. And this is the sort of thing, you know, we need these sort of players. Um, yeah, you know, obviously, yeah, it can't be. <laughs> but yeah, that's a big performance from Jay Ingham. And like I said, I mean, he's already an automatic star player just for coming in. Um, yeah, look at that. Three caps, two goals. He's doing all right, isn't he? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so that's the second game, so I'll come back for the third game, guys, because this is getting to be a longer episode. But, yeah, I'll just pause it, and I'll come back in a bit. G'day, guys. So I'm back for this last match of the group stage against New Caledonia. Um, and, well, there's been some bad news to go for because... Um... Bam! Papua New Guinea defeated Tahiti in their final game. So I really, I need to win. Is what I need to do. I need to either win or a draw, and I'll be happy. So I can't lose this game against New Caledonia. New Zealand defeated Fiji, obviously. So you knew that was going to happen. But yeah, this is uh, getting out of crunch time now, guys. <laughs> yeah, they uh, defeated them. I count it two to one. So yes, Tahiti's been quite. Uh, you know, I felt like I should have beaten, should have done better against Tahiti. But yeah, so this is a big game, another big game against New Caledonia. Um, yeah, this is going to be difficult. I mean, it is, but like I say, we got to beat these teams if we want to build the building blocks towards getting to a World Cup. I mean, this is what the thought of things. These are the teams you got to be, you know, testing ourselves new and better against. So we'll put in Steve Leota. Um, you know, Taylor. We'll start Teodo this time. And uh, Andy Young will come in. And Jarrett Saleh will put him in this time as well. One thing I'm kind of disappointed in myself as well. I wish I should have brought in some more center backs. <laughs> Cause look at that. Only got two and already they're all tied. So, um, and we'll also start boat mobily. Uh, Pupa has been really, um, down. So, and Jay Ingham, I want to start him, but <clears throat> I'll bring him on maybe in like the 50th minute. Cause he is lacking for, um, fitness but yeah so there's the big game uh, you know I thought obviously New Ca or Papua New Guinea match would be the very big game but this is even huger against a really quality side New Caledonia are really good in Oceania um, you know Cesare Zerula <clears throat> Wesley Lauto and would you look at that where's Wesley Lauto he's not even there 
Do you think he may be injured or something? That's a bonus. Let's see what happened. I want to see what happened to you. I just want to see what happened to you. Why, uh... What happened to Wesley Loto? He's not even on the squad. <laughs> wow. New Caledonia didn't even quote bring up Wesley Loto unless he's injured. But he's not. That's baffling for me, to be honest with you. Oh, wait, never mind. He's suspended. Medical reasons. Hmm. So he's, I guess he's suspended or injured. I don't know. So Wesley Logto, good thing is he's not in this game. So here we go, guys. The set third match of the group stage. Big game here. If I really want to try and... Well, have a chance to get to Russia. So I gotta win this game or get a draw at least. There's a tackle already down, so it's already looking pretty good here. Uh, Timmy's taking the free. I don't want him taking it, but here's a chance. Get the loose ball. Here's Mobley. Takes the shot it's wide. So already this is looking promising. Come on, guys. Come on, Timmy. Where's your head? Put it wide. This Hamilton Palmer. So this is a good start. You now we're, we're starting the front foot. Here's Kyle. TO2. And that's a good ball out wide. And Toa keeps it in. And there's the cross. Plays it out. Timmy was coming in. Here's TO2. This is a lot better, guys. We've already had three shots, but none on target yet. Ah, that's given away. Here's Gope Fanish. This is guys, the main guy that we can't let. Yeah, he's he's the guy that's playing in France. He's going courage. But yeah, Gope Fanish. He's uh plays at Lavelle or Armians, pardon me, in the French league. Armians or what do you say? But there's a guy wide open and it's off the crossbar, so that was lucky. Come on, Mobley. Taken down. Wakanume. No card. Come on, Saleh. Here's Young. Plays it out. Ah, it always teases you. You get a free throw, it's your highlight, and then boom, they come down. <laughs> <clears throat> That's one thing that's also weird. You know, I have my center back set to shorter passing, but they've tried twice now to just try and feed Mobley on a run. That's a good ball from Timmy. Here's Ryan Toa. There's a shot, and it's well wide, but we're getting more shots. I mean, this is the good thing. You know, we're getting shots. Um, with crosses in. And we're really, you know, you kind of look at this, guys. We're really trying, really controlling the game a bit. You know, from you know, highlights anyway, you know. Here's Andy Young. And that's a good ball. That's what we needed. But Mobley, he should have gone on the first touch. His first... Yeah, that's what's always frustrating. You know, you see it more with uh, the lower quality teams, but the good players, you know, they'll just continue running on with that. So that allows pretty much the center backs to come back and catch them. But we are doing a lot better in this one, I have to say. And Mobley's been coming wide, and that's a good pass. Ah, oh, too far. And that's kind of a wasted of... Uh, Of a highlight, highlight there. To be honest with you, I 
Zeola is another one of their danger men. Get it out. There you go. Already when we've kind of gone to mix. We'll float crosses again. Going high this time. Not look. But wide. So they've had seven shots, none on target, only one shot in the game, so it's <laughs> really quite uh the uh the game in it the quality wise, isn't it guys? <laughs> Here's TO2, here's KL, Leota, Young Oh, what a shot that was, and a good stop by the keeper, Baron. That was a good shot. And that wasn't a really good corner there, but kept in by Totu. That's a good play. Oh, and Young wasn't ready for it. Nah, that wasn't good either. <clears throat> now, we are doing better. We're just kind of lacking that last ball to, to put the ball in the net. But you can see our two center backs are just knackered. And the prizing were doing well. They made one sub. Dubois. Tom Barron. I wonder where he played. Oh, he's a region, that's why. <coughs> Put you on support again. For the four of them. So come on, guys. 45 minutes away. <coughs> You know, we have been playing the better of the game, I think, I believe anyway. Um, we just lacking that last touch to put the ball in the net is really what we're really lacking. Come on, Tim. Man, that's gone over. Come on, Mobley. Put it in, son. Here's Mobley. Oh, and he, well, it's blocked. But okay, we're at the 50th minute mark, so we're going to bring on the super sug, Jay Ingham. Toa's actually had a really good game, to be honest with you, but we're going to bring on Jay Ingham. Um, no, we'll keep him in that spot for now. Super sug, Jay Ingham coming in. Here's a chance! Come on! And there's a goal! Leota scores for Samoa! And, well, right away, New Caledonia make a sub, and we make a sub, and with that goal, guys, did you just see that? With that goal, we move into first place in the group. <laughs> and this is huge. Leota off a corner. Samoa has a 1-0 lead. And Brandon Pereira, who's this guy? He's a ball-winning midfielder playing striker. Okay. But that's huge. Come on, guys. So we're up 1-0 on New Caledonia. We've really... we've Well, okay, I won't jinx it, but we have kept Gope Finish really quiet so far, and we need to continue doing that. That all started with a bad muff from the defender when Mobley got passed, right? And that set the corner, and that set the goal for us. Mobley has actually done a really good job, um, striker this time. You know, he's getting in behind the lines a bit. But this is the guy we really need to shut down. Gope Finish. Don't let him cross. There's the cross in. Pereira. But it's from nowhere. So we got to concentrate. This is huge, up one to nil, and I wouldn't mind just the longer highlights now. Um, they made their other sub, Kevin Blanchard, Lashard. Um, 
they go to the goal. We'll bring on Jeffrey Pupai. Mobley actually had a pretty good game. I was impressed with him. Led the line well. But yeah, our center backs. Yeah, I feel bad for these two guys because <laughs> playing pretty much the whole game. Well, in every game as well. No, oh, no, they got a corner. That's cleared out. That's a good play. Here's Ziola. No. Good block. Clear it out, guys. There you go. And Blash should put it wide. So they've started to come on now as uh, New Caledonia here. Um, can Young. Can Kale Tua? No, he can't. Shit. So yeah, we're really struggling. Oh man, I made a mistake selecting the squad. What I really should have dropped was maybe one of my fullbacks and brought in another center back for my squad for the you know, squad selection because yeah, feeling bad for these two Hamilton family players. Because they're knackered. Um I think we'll uh Keep this for right now. <clears throat> but you can tell New Caledonia are pressing more. So we'll just go show passion. Because, <clears throat> yeah, you look at the shots now, they've really turned around in shots. And there's a good stop. Gope finish. And there's a goal. Fuck me. Gope finish was really quiet for the whole game. And then he just jumps on a spot right there. <clears throat> And yeah, they have been coming. They have been coming since we scored. That's just bad rebound though from Noel. And pretty much a wide open goal from there. So uh yeah. Go whip crosses. Leota has the goal. Jayingham. Oh, Josh Tua, he's another guy I haven't even used yet. So. Put on Leno Taylor. Another. And Frank Fulmanu. <clears throat> oh, boy. A little bit higher as well. I will actually be quite happy if we get a draw out of this. Because I think we will, we will be in third place with a draw. But. Gope finish. Mm, I'm not sure what that was. But yeah. The second half has been disappointing. Second half for us. Come on Poupe. Because yeah, you know, we have scored, I guess. So we did score on the goal, but um, you know, since we scored, it's been disappointing. I'll say that because they have really turned it around. But here's a chance. Here comes Jay Ingham. There's the cross. Tried looking for Kale. There's Poupe, our strikers playing here. Here's Young Kale. Nah, Timmy should have went out far side. Here's Gerard. In the final minute here. Come on. Get it out. There's Hamilton Pama. He's actually been really well in this game. Well, both of them have, obviously, throughout the whole tournament. And it looks like this is going to be a draw, guys. And it is. So... I believe with that result, we I don't believe we got out of the group, but 
I believe we got third place. And we did. Yes. But there it is. We are knocked out of the OFC Nations Cup. But we got that final World Cup spot, guys. So, yes. So the key of getting into the World Cup is still alive. Obviously, we had the lead. But giving it up, you know, was quite disappointing. Um, but, yeah, we got our one-game win. And also a draw against New Caledonia is actually really good, especially when we had a lead. Um, but yeah, you actually kind of look at our uh, the confidence from this. Um, where is it? Confidence for competitions. The IFC Nations Cup was be competitive. We met expectations. So that's alright. What about for World Cup? Be competitive. So that's the thing. We are in a World Cup. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And we've been dealt the hardest World Cup group you can think of. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, are you serious? And the thing with the World Cup qualifying, guys, is um, the top team in, in each group goes. So you got New Caledonia, New Zealand, us, Fiji, Solomon Islands, and Tahiti in the other one. Oh, this is killer. <laughs> this is killer, isn't it? So, Group A, we open it up at home against New Zealand. Um, and then, I oh know, pardon me. No, we don't. We open up at home against New Caledonia. Then, we have our second home game against New Zealand. And then, Papua New Guinea. I don't know, wait a second. Okay, no, sorry. We open up against New Zealand on the road. Then we have New Caledonia and New Zealand and New Caledonia again. So, oh man, our first game's against New Zealand. So that's going to be a tough one. And then we got New Caledonia. So we'll come back for these next game, guys, against New Zealand. New Cal actually, no, we'll see what happens. I actually scheduled some more friendlies. Against Bangladesh and Swaziland. Um, let's see if we can schedule some more here. We'll just do one in October. But oh man, that's oh, that sucks. <laughs> one of the hardest groups. We'll face Myanmar. We'll play two here. Samoa. But we're going to go up in the rankings after this performance, I believe. You know, drawing New, Z New Caledonia and you know, New Caledonia's 164th. We'll face Pakistan in a friendly. <laughs> face Pakistan and then at home we'll play a home game. Um. Uh. That was Lichtenstein. You think Lichtenstein want to come in now? Turkmenistan. Seychelles. Um. Luxembourg. It would be kind of interesting to play a European side. San Marino probably won't want to come here. Um, Malaysia. Yeah, let's face Malaysia. Why not? So we scheduled some more friendlies here. Um, Bangladesh, Swaziland, Myanmar, Pakistan, Malaysia. So maybe what we'll do, guys, is the next episode we'll come back with a home game against Malaysia. But uh, yeah, so this is a longer episode. Um, how long has the recording been? 59. We're coming on to an hour episode, so I didn't really want it this to last long, but it's the OFC Nation Cup. So, all in all, I'd say we actually did really well. Um, we achieved the goal, finishing third. Uh, we were really close to getting out of the group. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I guess you could say the bonus is we scored a goal in every game. 
um, but definitely the quality needs to be better. I was actually really disappointed with Timmy's performance in this Nations Cup, to be honest with you. Um, he's got to be playing better. So, uh, yeah, it looks like Hang Zhao is also in the first division in China now. So he's doing well for his club. But uh, for the national, well, for us so far, I mean, two goals and seven appearances isn't bad. But, uh, you know, we need him, we need Timmy to be firing on all cylinders if you want to get to a World Cup. Especially with this World Cup group stage. Um, so, yeah, this first stage, guys, like I said, going to be really difficult. So, Russia's looking, you know, like I say, anything can happen. Um, I believe in my own football manager uh, <laughs> talent-wise, I guess you could say, my own expertise, but uh, it's a tight group, really tough group. Uh, in fact, aside, well, actually, in fact, from all of them, out of Oceania, it's only New Zealand and New Caledonia that have players playing overseas in Europe. Those are the only teams in Oceania that have them. So, yeah, it's going to be difficult. But, all in all, I'm really happy that we got to the final stage of World Cup qualifying. Uh, we got some me meaningful games. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, Nations Cup went well as well. Um, I'm really happy with the squad. Uh, definitely, there's definitely going to be some kinks added to it. I need to bring in some more players, create some more depth at positions. Um, and, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, some good regions come through. Um, Actually, we've already had Region Day, first Region Day, um, and I'll just get through this quickly. Um, potential guy, decent potential player that we got, two guys actually. Uh, Daniel Marlow, 16-year-old, Region uh, striker, going to be a target man, obviously. And I, the thing I look at this guy's is the strength and the jumping reach, and that's massive for uh, for that. So. Um, and his determination as well for Samoan is really good. So I'm really happy with him. And the other one is Louis Ngalu, or Ningafui. I don't know how you could say it, but ball winning midfielder. I look at that more at the stamina and the determination as well. And of course, just work rate is massive, but his tackling needs to be a bit better. So those are the two key regions that we ended up with, um, as you can see on the potentials. Um, actually, I haven't seen this guy either. He could be pretty good as well, but his determination is really low. Actually, yeah, look at you. This, this is actually looking decent. We, I, I haven't seen these guys, so looking at these other regions, look at the potential there. So that's big. But anyway, guys, so we'll come back for the friendly against Malaysia. We'll have all these friendlies done and dusted. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, you know, it's a longer episode, so might take more of your time, but hope you guys are all enjoying it. And uh, Yeah, so uh, we failed to get out of the group of the Nations Cup, but we finish in our targeted third place in the group stage. So that's all good as well so far. But the next stage of meaningful games is a difficult one, that is for sure. So we'll see you next time for the game against Malaysia, and uh, yeah, Hope you guys are enjoying it. Cheers for watching. We'll see you next time.